Hi all, what I'm going to talk about today is the power of the, um, it's actually the Calumet Genesis GF400 but it's also sold in many other names such as the uh, Lancata Atom 360, uh, the Godox Wistro 360 as well but essentially they're all the same um, flash, it's, it's basically a portable flash system which is attached to a, an external battery, hopefully let's see if we can see it here uh, as you can see, it's right down there at the bottom there. It attaches via a cable, and um, yeah, it, it's basically um, a portable flash, which is uh, a lot more powerful than a speed light. Um, and what I wanted to just do today was just show you um, what power output you can get from one of these things. So, what I've currently got here is my little um, Siconic light meter. Um, so yeah, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stand about three meters away and basically just trigger them um, and do a quick reading to see. Okay, so we're all set up now. We've got the, uh, the well, we've got the three flashes and I'm stood about three meters away. So what I'm going to do is just turn my trusty Siconic on, as you can see here, hopefully, yep. Okay, um, and I'm basically just going to trigger it. So first of all, I'm going to trigger the Calumet. So let me just get set up. Okay, and at the moment they're all on full power. So um, this is the maximum range at three meters. Okay, I'll try and see if I can show you this. Let's see if I can do that. So as you can see, um, that registered at F18, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, just to make it um, a fair test, is um, I'm triggering the uh, SB910, which is the one on the left of your screen. Um, it's currently set to zoom of 35 mil, because I believe that's the same as the Calumet. So let's give that a bash and see what it comes up with. Okay, and that comes up with, let's see if I can see that, F13, which isn't bad actually coming from a little speed light, but let's just take that one step further, so let me just make sure the uh, monopod's balanced, although I don't want my camera falling over. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the other two flashes on. Now, I don't have all the same flashes, so, you know, it's not really a scientific test. But what I've got on the right-hand side is basically a Yongnuo 568, and on top of that balance rather precariously is my um, SB700. So I'm just going to turn that on to full power as well, and just fire it so it recharges. As you can see, they're all firing now, and yeah, let's just do that again and see what happens. Okay, should be recharged now, so let's give it a try. One, two, three. Okay, and as you can see there, okay, that's given us a reading of F16. So basically, that tells us that um, the Calumet flash is at least as powerful, well, more powerful actually, than my three speed lights there. Um, you know, ideally, I wish I had three of the same flashes to give you an idea, especially the 910s, which are currently one of the most powerful flashes, but I don't. So, um, anyway, gives you an idea. Um, you might want to do your own test if you want to be purely scientific. Um, leave me a message, let me know what your thoughts are.